Hey guys, Luna the Wolf speaking. Today's video is a little bit different. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, what it means to cyberbully, what it means to harass, what it means to threaten, and what it means to gaslight. Because... Things have happened recently on my channel and on a good friend of mine's. Um, uh, you might watch her channel. Um, if you don't, you should watch her. She's amazing. Her name, her YouTube channel is Brittany Otaku Girl ASMR. She's really good. It's not like you're classic asmr kind of stuff but like it's it's role plays and stories and and she's really good at what she does um and that's actually how we became friends but anyways i was a part there has been recent activity on both of our channels um and it's not fun there was activity on both of our channels, and it started on Brit's, Brittany's, sorry. I call her Brit, because we're basically sisters by now. So, um, I'm not going to say any names, because that's not fair. But, um, someone saw a video that I took part in on Britney's channel um, and said that they loved my voice and they wanted to know who I was and because they loved my voice acting and I, I know what it feels like to want to know who a certain voice actor is because some voice actors are just incredible. Not saying all voice actors aren't incredible but like I know there are some that seem so amazing and you just have to know who they are and so i replied to her comment and i said i'm luna i'm the wolf behind the mask and um she subscribed to me and um she gave me her email and um she commented and emailed as well and got personal she told me how old she was where she lived, what college she was at, which for me was a little strange, but that's that's n not the point. And I just let her talk to me because it, it, you don't expect anything bad. So um, on to definitions. Harassment. Harassment is when someone behaves in a way that offends or makes a person feel distressed or intimidated. And that could be through abusive comments and jokes, both in person or online, and insulting gestures and touching. Now, the, the gestures and the touching don't apply to the situation but the rest of it does. Comments were made that stemmed from something that wasn't directed at the person in question. And um, I am going to give you um, as close to an example as I can give. So before I get into the comment, um, friends like to mess around with each other, right? They'll say stuff like, oh, F you, or go to hell, or stuff like that. And friends laugh about it, right? I certainly do. Um, and, um... My, um, my friends and I do that to each other all the time. And we laugh like idiots about it because we know we don't mean it. 
but we just can't help but laugh at each other. And it's okay to have friendships like that. We all do. Um, and on a live, Brittany was on a live, and I was on there for a little bit, but we also both have a friend named Duncan. Um, that's not his channel name. I'm not going to give it because it's not... I'm just not. But his name is Duncan. And he likes to tease us a lot. Because we're like his sisters and brother-sister relationships, even friendship relationships. You guys make fun of each other sometimes. And he was kind of teasing... Um, he was teasing Brit. And so Britt playfully answered back, and the person in question happened to be on that live. And she was typing something in the chat. And Britt was talking to Duncan and said, I will tear you apart. Now, obviously, Britt didn't actually mean it. Brittany was saying that to Duncan in a playful way. And sometimes when you first hear it you don't see it in a playful way but i know i know her and i know duncan and duncan laughed and then um she thought it was directed at her and so i took snapshots let me find them she um found one of my vi videos and commented and she was um no it was one of her videos never mind and um and it got really uncomfortable really quickly um and um uh she i don't have the first thing that she said but, um, she said something to me about, um, unsubscribing to Brittany's channel because, um, supposedly she's toxic and a, and a bully and she's cyberbullying her. And m m my thing is... I don't like being caught in the middle of arguments. I never have, and I never will. Being in the middle of the argument for me is like being torn apart in two ways, or however many people are involved. And I was raised to love everybody, so stuff like that is really hard. Especially when the people I love are arguing and fighting. It doesn't matter what it's about. It's going to bug me. So then um, Duncan commented to her, it replied to her comment and said, stay away from my sister. And he meant me. And even Brit, but mostly me, because she was asking me for help. And she was saying, unsubscribe to her. She's toxic. She's toxic. She, I can't speak. She's toxic. She's a bad person. She's not your friend. And Duncan said, stay away from my sister. And um, the thing with Duncan is, when he wants to protect something, he's going to protect that something. When he wants something, he's going to get it. He's very serious about that stuff. And so, um, the person in question, um, uh, replied to him back and said, Brittany lit and I'm reading it right now, Brittany literally told me that she would tear me apart in one of her live chats. I think she needs to stop bullying us. P.S. Help me find that live chat video in which she said to me she would tear me apart, please. You are subscribed. I am not. Okay. 
that was from the time that he commented that was six hours later so she hadn't even seen that um and it um it was just insane but um mind you she said that Brittany told her that she would tear her apart. Now, if you recall from earlier in this video, I said she was saying that to Duncan because Duncan was playfully teasing her. Which is fine. And then, another hour later, she replied to him again and said, I am not a bully. I am Luna's friend, and I am the beta wolf in her pack. I always made Luna smile and laugh. And just like you, I care about her and her safety. Your sister is such a sweet and understanding person. I just hope you and the rest of the pack understand and support me. That one made me very upset and uncomfortable. Mostly because I did accept her into my wolf pack my YouTube wolf pack. And I am the alpha of my YouTube wolf pack. And yes, she sent me some th comments and emails that did make my day a little brighter. But she didn't always make me smile. She didn't always make me laugh. Hell, I barely told her anything about me. Because I don't give out private information about myself or anyone else. So that happened. And then I was on my um, little sunshine video. And by the way, that was so much fun to reanimate. Um, and she commented, Luna, I am crying because Brittany Ataku has cyber bullied me. She made me look bad and posted my comments to her channel. Also, could you please tell her to stop and talk about what she said to me in one of her live chats? I let you down, Luna, and I am such a monster, but I wanted to prevent her from cyberbullying others. I can't be a leader because I feel weak, and that makes me want to hate myself. She posted an image that made me look like I bullied her, but I am not a bully. Please help my dear wolf sister. I don't feel loved and know it's a nightmare. I am the worst beta wolf, and I feel like a monster, and you probably hate me. Who would want to be with me? Nobody, just me, a disappointment to the pack. Does your pack besides you care about me? I'm just a nobody. That's the next definition, the next few definitions I'm gonna get into because it's, it, it just has to stop. So what is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is the use of electronic communication to bully a person, which usually is by sending messages of an intimidating or threatening nature. That's one definition. Um, there are many um, problems with cyberbullying that I know of, and Cyberbullying became a problem that started in the 2000s-ish and rose really high around 2010, and it's only getting higher. And um, cyberbullying and cyber harassment are also known as online bullying. 
and it has become increasingly common, and it's especially common among teenagers, um, as the digital sphere has kind of expanded and technology has advanced. So, that's that's what cyberbullying is. But Brit didn't direct that at her. And that's something that needs to be confirmed. She did not do anything to her. She was talking to Duncan. And Duncan laughs things off, which is a great trait to have, by the way. Not all the time, but anyways. Um, if Brit really cyberbullied her, then I wouldn't be Brit's friend because I don't tolerate people like that. I absolutely hate people like that. And the next one I am going to tell you about is um, uh, gaslighting because that's a very not common term. But anyways, um, gaslighting is manipulating someone by psychological means into questioning their own sanity. So it's a form of psychological manipulation where a person or a group covertly um, uh, sows seeds of doubt, so like makes them doubt puts doubt in a targeted individual or group, which makes them question their own memory, perception, or judgment, and it evokes them in cog cognitive um, uh, dissonance and uh, other charges, which charges changes, sorry, um, which includes low self-esteem. I know a lot of people who have low self-esteem and when I was in middle school, I was gaslighted a lot by a f who I thought was my friend at the time. And it was hell, because I didn't even realize she was manipulating me until I saw that she was manipulating other people around her. And so, in those comments, she, I took that one to heart and I kept it in mind. And so I started paying attention. And then I started getting comments such as this. Please view my comment under your new video. It's urgent. I feel like a bad person and feel ashamed and I really need your help with my mistake. You're the alpha. I am not. And then I got something like, um, please read my emergency message under your new video. I feel like a failure and feel like a terrible person right now. Please reply to me and hell calm me down. Okay. And then I got, um, Luna, I hate myself right now. I couldn't find the video about Brittany saying back to me that she will tear me apart and unsubscribe. I tried to stand up for myself, but now she posted my messages to her on her channel and blaming me. I am, I really am upset. And could you help me get Brittany to stop bullying me? This has become serious, and I can't take her anymore. I just want to prevent her from hurting other subscribers. But I failed. You're the alpha, and I think you understand more than me. Please end this nightmare. That's where I started seeing the real gaslighting. She pulled a victim card. And, um, Brit posted a video. And it was her explaining that she was talking to somebody else, hence Duncan, and that the comment about her tearing somebody apart, th that wasn't meant for her. So there was no reason 
that she should have been freaking out. And so that was made so that she could explain to people what the hell was going on. And she titled the video, Leave Us Alone, because this was happening on her channel and on mine. And I had made a, if you are subscribed to me, you know that I made a um, 100 subscriber special. And that was a really important moment for me. And on the same day that I posted it, I got this. Look at Britney's channel right now because she is making me look like a bad guy, but it is, but it's her that is. Could you please tell her to take it down and find the live chat where she talks about her ear infection and her saying that she will be tearing me apart, please. She wants evidence and I am being cyberbullied by her now. I am in tears and angry at this. Please help me get out of this nightmare. Now I really hate myself and I just want this to stop. My thing is, you tell me to do something, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it the first time you tell me. Not the 15th or whatever. And so I just, um, and, um, on one of Brit's other videos, which was from ages ago. It was just on a normal ASMR roleplay video. Um, she commented, Brittany, did you know that YouTube bans hate speech videos? You made one towards me and I reported it. Have a great day. This was today. No, yesterday. I think. No, it was today. Okay, that's not fair. That is absolutely not fair. She explained that it wasn't to, to you, so why are you still going at it? And it wasn't a hate speech video. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you what the real meaning of a hate speech video is. So, um, a hate speech video is where the person is attacking a person based on their religion, their ethnicity, their nationality, their beliefs. Um, th none of that happened. And yes, Brittany was upset in the video because she's been dealing with this for almost the entire month of September. And so she was angry and she did use profanity, but if you're middle school or older, when we get angry, we all use profanity. Most of us anyway, I know I do when I'm really angry and I'm keeping everything down right now because I don't want to get angry. I've had too good of a day, quite frankly. Um, but she was not attacking her. She was simply saying, listen, this is what happens. And um, I realize that this video is getting long, so I'm going to be splitting this into two parts. I'll do the next part soon, so for right now, this is Luna the Wolf, signing out.